So what do you get when a traditional hot, happy brewery like Ninkasi ventures into a beloved Belgian-style wit beer? Let's find out. Hey y'all, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Thanks for coming along for the ride. While you're here, if you can remember to uh, hit the like button and the subscribe button if you aren't already, and hey, leave a comment, tell them if you like the content or if you'd like some particular content. Um, I love taking suggestions because I can only have so many ideas myself. <laughs> Today we're going to explore what happens when Hop Happy Ninkasi uh, ventures into the Belgian wit beer style. But let's first explore what a wit beer is. A wit beer is a white beer. Uh, it is uh, comparable to a Weiss beer from Germany, but it's a Belgian version of the same. And there are significant differences between a Weiss beer and a wit beer. The wit beer in particular is uh, characterized by having mostly malted barley with a relatively high amount, up to 50% of unmalted wheat going into the mash. That is quite substantial and significant because, um, why? Oh yes, <laughs> because the grain really needs to be malted in order for the yeast to act effectively upon it to convert those carbohydrates into the sugars that the yeast can use to then create alcohol. So when you use an unmalted grain in your beer, it doesn't technically count as the malt, obviously, it's unmalted, and so is characterized as an adjunct. You've probably heard me use the word adjunct before, and that is simply an additive that isn't part of the traditional beer recipe. That is malt, it's not grain, it is malt, hops, yeast, and water, right? So unmalted wheat is not part of the malt. Yes, it still goes into the malt bill because it's a grain, but, and it goes in early in the process, you're not adding it later on like most adjuncts, but it is contributing maybe texture and flavor more than sugar and alcohol. Uh, so this is, to begin with, atypical, this particular instance, the Ninkasi Wit Rapids. It is atypical because wit beers are traditionally not filtered. They're called a wit beer because they have a white-like uh, color, a whitish, whitish, let's use that word, a whitish color from their cloudiness. Most of that coming from the unmalted, or much of that coming from the unmalted wheat. So I know to begin with, they have departed from the traditional style. Wit beers are not a super unknown style in America or a rare style. In fact, uh, Blue Moon, the very traditional Blue Moon, the one you have with the orange slice, that is a Belgian style wit beer. It is an Amero Belgio wit beer. <laughs> it's a heavily Americanized version of the style, but it is a wit beer. So I'm gonna guess this probably has more in common with Blue Moon than it does a Hogarden, which is a very traditional Belgian wit beer style or well, a Belgian wit beer brand. Um, other things that will characterize wit beers is their, they have spices, uh, coriander, orange peel, uh, I guess the traditional, uh, like the, the actual Belgian, the original Belgian wit beers when they uh, recreated the style in the 1950s used Curacao orange peel, whereas uh, Blue Moon uses Valencia oranges. You know, use what's local, right? Um, that's a good thing. And uh, uh, cloves, cardamom, those are all common uh, spices that are added to the beer at various points in the brewing process to produce the characteristic styles. I have heard that the wit beer is traditionally a summer style. It is a lighter beer. But because of its spices, I have always appreciated wit beer as a lighter winter beer. So if the weather's warmer in the winter, or I have a more delicate meal that I want to pair a beer with, or I just don't feel like drinking a kick in the face. <laughs> 
uh, wit beer is a great choice for those times. So let's uh, dive in and see what is up with this particular one. Uh, Ninkasi is a good brewery. Because of their really hop forwardness, I haven't tended to enjoy a lot of their styles myself personally. All right, just full disclosure. So it'll be very interesting, particularly because wit beers are known for being far less hopped than most other styles of beer. Uh, typically, you'll have about 60% of the hops going into a wit beer that you would going into a tradition, any other, even a traditional low hopped, you know, European style of beer. Uh, so I'm expecting a very interesting mashup with this. I'm seeing a very, very, very creamy head. So it's, you know, it's it's kind of a, a light gold color, almost a straw color. The head is very creamy and the bubbles are very uniform and it's actually hanging around pretty well. When I poured this, there actually wasn't that much head. Um, I tried to do a slow-mo of that. So we'll see how it, um, how that turns out. That might be a short advertising this full length video. But when I smell it, I am smelling good things that I expect. Um, because this is a traditional Belgian style, it's also tr traditionally made with Belgian yeasts, which are what you'll find in Abbey Ales, in Saisons, other traditional uh, doubles and triples and such. Uh, so you're going to expect that kind of funkiness, um, that, that uh, earthiness um, that you'll expect with a Belgian beer, and I'm smelling that. I'm also definitely picking up orange peel. That's definitely here. And there's some there's some cardamom in there. Maybe some um, uh, what's the what's the cilantro seed? It starts with a C. It's not cilantro, and it's not cardamom. Is it? Is it cardamom? I can't remember. Um, I don't think it is. Um, the kind of the the cilantro seed uh, smell in there. So there's definitely, there's definitely traditional yeasts and there are traditional spices going into this, so yay. Um, there's kind of a, a light maltiness that I can smell. But it smells really good. It smells really good and there is no pronounced hop character to the nose. Let's see uh, how it tastes. Ooh. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, interesting. Okay, there are some of the hops. Um, so initially, creamy honey. That's what it starts off with. That was quite, it was unexpected and it was very interesting. And I think it, it lends this particular beer to being um, a good winter wit beer. It stays very smooth, very smooth. The spices are clear and distinct. And the orange peel kind of comes along. There's this creamy sweetness that kind of runs throughout, almost approaching a juiciness, almost a, a like a thin apple juice at points. And, and it never, there's never any bite. Some, uh, a lot of older styles of beer had an acidity to them simply because they couldn't fully control the bacteria. That's the, kind of the whole point of beer is to kill the good, kill the bad bacteria by having good bacteria in there doing stuff, right? Um, there'd be always some unwanted travelers along for the ride, typically producing acids. So it is also not... Um, it, it's not unexpected to, to have a wit beer that is... Uh, where the, the modern brewery ha, brewer has allowed some additional bacteria to be involved that produce acids, lactic acid, and the, and the sort to produce a, a kind of a light tartness in the beer. This has absolutely none of that. This remains like honey sweetness, like cream, creamy honey sweetness, and uh, this really nice uh, warming spices and this orange peel. And then at the end, kind of as your, your last breath, you're left with this kind of drying... Uh, hop bitterness it kind of grows as 
um, out of the spiciness, out of the orange peel. It feels like a very natural progression, such that you can't tell if it's the orange peel that causes the the kind of the bitter uh, herbal notes or the spices, or if it's its own thing. And then eventually, it's clear. It's yeah, these are these are hops doing that that duty there. That's a pretty good beer. It has enough body that you can you could savor this on its own. Um, but I think it would be best with um, maybe like Swedish meatballs. You know, something that's that's moderately heavy and rich. Uh, has There's some meatiness to it and some savoriness, but it's not all in. It's not like a, a pot roast or a ham. Um, that maybe there's some sweetness to the dish. I think this would pair very nicely with that because the sweetness in the beer would stand up nicely and the bitterness of the herbs the spices and then the hops would just allow it to act as a palate cleanser to something like that. I think this would work quite well for that actually. That's a tasty beer. Um, I can taste I can taste Ninkasi's hand in it. That that's for certain. But it works. It works very nicely. I like that. That's good stuff. Yeah. So this is the uh, the Wit Rapids Belgian White. It is a Wit beer. Produced by Ninkasi Brewing of Eugene, Oregon. It is a limited release, so I'm not sure how how likely you are to find this. It is only 5.5% ABV, and uh, the bitterness is pretty low at just 15 IBUs. Um, and it does note oh, yeah, coriander. Coriander is the coriander is the seeds of the cilantro. That's totally right. Um, yeah, coriander, orange peel. It's a very uh, traditional American. Belgian Whitbeer. I'm Matthew. I've been chewing the brew, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>